Now let us switch gears and uh, delve into soccer. And here we are going to talk about uh, many things, but let's first start with the retirement announcement by one Ronald Okoth of his retirement mm. at only 32 years old. Gibson, this is uh, El Presidente <laughs> uh, the, Yeah, the first question is, is he 32 anyway? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have that habit of uh, of hiding our ears. But anyway, uh, I think with that 32, uh, the football career is is starting to plummet, and I think it might be early, but he had maybe like two or, or three more years to play. Uh, but it's okay. Maybe he has more plans to go, maybe into coaching uh, or something like that, which is which is good. Uh, Early retirement is, is good because in a Manisho Majipanga. Uh, but for, for, for Paka, it's a loss. That is uh, experience lost. But again, uh, we have young players who are coming up, which will, should be given a chance also to play, which I think it's a good thing. Uh, good. Uh, Kwambo, you also had the same issue. Too early for yeah. him to, to leave? Yeah, I felt it's too early for him to leave. And uh, if you look at it across the Kenyan Premier League, yes, we do have some old players, um, age legitimate or not, notwithstanding. But um, it is good to tap into the experience of the older players. Having played a competitive sport myself, I know that I was shepherded into the game by the veterans of the team. I remember at 19 playing with a fullback who was 36 years old. But the experience, oh, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, the experience that I fed, that he fed to me was brilliant. And you feel there's so much that, that can happen. But um, I know it is a personal choice. Um, like Alda said, he probably has his plans, but um, a big loss. Uh, but but Ronald has been doing stuff off the field of play. This is one player who is uh, has been focused. He is keen on sports management and nurturing the next crop of talent. So yep. I probably think he's going to plunge into that and uh, we wish him all the best. But once again, uh, a huge loss in my opinion. Yeah, yeah maybe hope. just to write, maybe just to write on to Kwambo's uh, statement because that's what I wanted to, and it's good that he mentioned it at the end. Uh, that uh, Ro, as is as is fondly known um, in the football circles, has said that, uh, and, and maybe just allow me to quote it verbatim. Uh, mm -hmm. His statement: He said that I would also like to take this opportunity to announce my retirement from professional football as I embark upon a new and an exciting chapter in my life. As the founder and CEO of RO Sports and RO Sports Soccer Academy, also as an information manager, having graduated from KEMU with a Bachelor of Science, Information Science degree, other exciting and ambitious challenges wait ahead. At 32 years of age and with other things on the side going on, I have felt that indeed this is the right moment to call off my career on a high after 13 good years of actively chasing a career in football, both in the lower leagues and at the top level locally. So it, it basically, uh, I agree with Kwambo, and he has confirmed it himself, Aro, that uh, he feels this is the right time for him to focus on Aro uh, Sports and Aro Sports Soccer Academy to nurture the next uh, uh, Ronaldo Tieno, perhaps, Ronaldo Koth, perhaps. That's very good, by the way. George, uh, if you look at uh, what Justice has just read, uh, very interesting. Uh, this is a learned guy, uh, and it's rare to get in football in our country, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah, that is just the truth. Uh, apart from uh, engineer Michael Olunga and and a few others, yeah. from Akina Robert Mambo uh, and and, uh, and the, uh, the likes of Akina Doctor Doctor Ubuaka of old. Yeah, yeah. You see, uh, it, it's it's just a handful, but it's okay. I think I'll, we'll encourage more of, of our football uh, players, not just to play football, but also look at other avenues because you never play football for, for the rest of your life. When you hit 35, uh, maybe Ibrahimovic 39 or 40, uh, things start changing, and we don't want to have players who, when they leave football, they have nothing to do, they have no career to, to, to pursue. I think Aro doing that and uh, what uh, educating himself uh, to, to that point, I think he will offer more to football. It might be sad that the club will lose him in the, in the service, but he will offer more to football. These are the people that we want. So that when he, even when it comes to elections for federations, these are the people that we'll be looking looking for. Not, not, not just noisemakers who will come in uh, just to get some uh, a cloud for, poli for, for politics and then go by for, 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 for constituency MPs or governors. These are people that we are looking at so that we will manage even our federations better. I know where you're going, my friend. And maybe just... <laughs>